overcome plateaus with LT training. Heart rate variability training. Enhance your body's ability to fight free radical or oxidative damage to your muscles by doing easy days and hard days. When you do HIT high intensity interval training, it requires different energy output through the body and it trains your muscles. You to use your muscles better, while cardio trains you to use your heart better. So do HIT a few times a week so you can better use fat. You'll be a better fat burner. You'll increase fat burning and lower your risk of being a carb burner. This is what HIT helps with. Don't make the mistake of not doing 80% easy and 20% hard. 80% of exercise should be easy, 20% should be hard. Do complex movements. Keep hit sessions to two to three times a week because your cortisol will be too jacked and you may start not being as efficient of a fat burner. We had to either do a lot of low level physical activity and get food or short bursts to get food. So work for food or else it will work for you and become possibly a lifelong employee. Whenever you have the chance, commune to the grocery store wherever, buy a bike, run there, climb a mountain, new movement, it's great, especially if you want to speed your metabolism. Air better with cold therapy, two times a week if you immerse yourself, you'll better burn fat, or at least the brown adipose tissue, burn a lot of calories. There's brown tissue fat, and then there's just regular fat. The brown stuff is the fat that heats us up. If you do isometrics and slow training, it can increase the recruitment of your muscle fibers. It also increases your cardiovascular system. Lactic acid production, acidosis in your muscle. Your muscle, in order to go at high intensities for a certain dur duration, needs the molecule nicotinamide adene dinucleotide and this can be supplied to the muscle at high intensities and the reason you experience burning is because sugar is being burned at high intensities lactic production be afraid of lactic acid it can be a significant source of fuel as you can probably attest from doing high intensity activity or isometric holds, you can teach your body to use it more efficiently. Doing this type of training is beneficial because the lactic acid also increases AMPK. When you do calorie restriction, you increase core cycle and therefore you can use carbs more efficiently. Because you upregulate mitochondrial biogenesis with AMPK. Oxal acetate exposure enhances resistance to fatigue by increasing the conversion of NAD to NADH and allowing lactic acid to be recycled and converted to glucose at a much higher rate. If you take oxal acetate before a workout, you can become a lactic acid beast and utilize it for energy. Thinking about isometrics improve performance by before doing a barbell squat by doing a squat on the wall for five minutes. You recruit more muscle fibers. It's really good cardio. You can have an isometric routine one to four times a month, which looks like 10 seconds push up as you go down, eccentric, and 10 second as you go up, concentric. You do push up, and then you do pull. So you could do five second pull up, five second pull down, but for 10 reps. And your legs, you could do five second squat down, five second squat up. And this is some good cardio. You can add in four or five exercises to add into an isometric routine. There's this thing 
that I was talking about earlier, the squat before the barbell squat. That is called isometric potentiating. It, it's a potentiating effect. You're able to use your unit, your muscle, because you have more motor recruitment. Now that you do this, you need recovery. A really good recovery method is using WBV therapy. Basically, WBV therapy stimulates hormonal, your cardiovascular system, lymphatic system, and nervous system at the same time. You can use it before training and after. WBV stands for vibrational platform. Really implement this. It'll help you. You can work out while going on a vibrational platform. You use this WVV therapy if you're willing to pay a couple thousand dollars. Is go on it five to ten minutes a day. Significant results. You can do partial range of motion lunges, squats for ten reps or thirty seconds before a cycling session. You can do isometric thirty to two minute squat between intervals of a cycling session. I don't know if you could call this underground training tactic from the book, but greasing the groove. I'm so glad he went through this. It is an amazing thing that you must implement into your whole entire life. It'll prime your automatic nervous system. What is greasing the groove? How do you prime your automatic nervous system? Make things more automatic or atomic nervous system, not automatic, I'm sorry atomic so you basically every hour that you sit you do 100 jumping jacks instead of just doing a 30 minute session of cardio you'd split it up into 10 minute sessions throughout the day greasing the groove you do push-ups throughout the whole entire day basically if you stand throughout the whole entire day that's considered greasing the groove if you want to increase your repetition of something just increase your volume of something increase your dips by doing 10 dips every hour. Strength. In this book, strength is amazingly going over. It is a Bible pretty much. Multi-joint exercises for strength you want to do throughout the year to eliminate burnout. In the book, Ben Greenfield talks about overtraining and overreaching. For strength, you want to have your biggest carb meal before a workout. You also want to take amino acids. This is if you're building strength. But if you're trying to get autophagy benefits and other things, you need to take into account many variables. But when it comes to just muscle building, you also would like to have creatine. You start out with 66 grams per pound of body weight for a week and then after that week you just take maintenance of creatine because your creatine stores don't get depleted because our body is amazing. After this week you only have to take 5 grams a day thereafter. Creatine aids in muscle contraction. It's good for the brain and every body system. Strength. What will also help with strength is garnitine, 700 to 2,000 milligrams a day. Put it up into two doses though. It alleviates the side effects of aging, repairs nervous system damage, your neurons it repairs by high blood pressure, and your mitochondrial capacity increases, and it increases your ability to burn fat. Building strength you can attest that Grease in the Groove does this as if you have free weights, a heavy barbell, sandbags, sled that you can push, a hammer, a tire, just things that you can lift throughout the day, things that challenge you. You will have strength greasing the groove. The five essential elements of endurance athlete. You should train like an athlete, even though you're not an athlete. You'll live longer. Endurance is resistance. If you do weight training, that's endurance. And first element is strength. The second one is power. Also speed. When your goal is power. Differ from strength as strength 
is like just getting up a flight of stairs. You have the strength to do that. Muscle, fibers, power is how fast you can do it, recruiting the muscle fibers in that moment, if that makes sense. So when the goal is power, speed counts. The speed which you lift that weight, move that couch, or climb that flight of stairs dictates how successful you were at quickly recruiting your muscle, which is why power is often referred to as speed strength. Power, in short, allows you to train, have more recruitment of muscle fibers without additional mass. You can train for quick movements and high force potential without creating soreness. And you have better economy and efficiency even at relative lower speeds. In training power, all you need is one time a week. You can do contact hops or big long lunges, anything that requires a lot of muscle recruitment. Lunge jumps, you can do dips, muscle up, something explosive that requires lots of muscle recruitment, clap, pull-ups, push-ups. Gear for training power includes agility ladder, power rack, anything that you can throw around or swing, weighted vest, power sled, TNT cable. You can progress massively with this. The essential elements we just had for endurance were power, strength, and now we have speed. Speed, you should be able to go 100% and recover 100%. Your atomic nervous system is supposed to be fully recovered. You can do stairs and sprints. Get the most out of this. We just went over strength, power, speed. The fourth essential tip is mobility. Basically, what this means is you have more limbs to move freely and painlessly in your desired motion. Stretching inhibits the force your muscle can produce. If you have a sore muscle, stretching it will just tighten the knot in the muscle even more. Mobility. The movement is better for getting knots out. Before and after training for a warm up, instead of static stretching, which disrupts the motor pattern of your tissue, you can do leg swings, Frankenstein, skips, walking lunges, bent torso twists, deep body weight squats. You increase the risk of cardiovascular and your bone having injury if you stretch. There's less force. It's not hyper mobility which is stretching. Less force of injury when mobility training. You can do deep tissue massage when it comes to mobility. It's better when you're warm when you do m mobility. And the tension your tissue can block circulation and cause pain. So mobility makes the pain mobile and not pain anymore. You can do ruffling of the fascia to get adhesions out. You can use foam roller which gets your lymph system going and it breaks down adhesions. You don't just want to train mobility but stability like doing one-legged squats or closing your eyes balancing you want to engage all five of your senses just like all five of the essential elements to an endurance athlete and with mobility to get into the tissue that you want to be mobile you can use aim it which is you want to recover faster use aim it advanced muscle gration I meant to say advanced muscle integration technique. Basically, it restores proprioception by applying deep pressure on specific proprioceptive areas. You just feel your way. Another amazing technique is MAT, muscle activation technique, where you look at the range of motion in your body. Sometimes you have a person help you. Do specific exercises, activate muscles to figure out what needs to be mobile. Usually, you have a person that helps you. If you want to get deep and really heal, you can use the Grantson technique. It's basically a medieval time technique where you lose, use medieval tools. 
you use steel tools to palpitate your muscles for maximal penetration. Leg suggests another form of mobility. You want mobility your whole life, so you're mobile your whole life. TPT. TPT is trigger point therapy. Basically releases hypertense knots. What it is, is you put a trigger point in your body. You not only put, you push. Like if you push your armpit, it releases pain in the shoulder. Another technique or therapy is deep tissue sports massage. This is tedious or tenuous and it hurts but it is great for mobility. You pass the superficial layers of muscle and go to the tendons. Cold showers and magnesium are amazing because these, especially magnesium, it enters your blood instantly. Don't take magnesium orally, take it with the spray so it'll enter quickly. So we have strength, power, speed, mobility. Now the fifth essential element to endurance is traction. Traction is basically a way that separates and elongates tissue surrounding a part of a joint. You can traction yourself, you can change the integrity of your fascia, muscle, and other connected tissue with deep tissue work. And you can increase range of motion with stretching, but you will still have to deal with the bony capsular area of the joint itself. This is because your joints are constantly being compressed by the muscles, ligaments, and tendons that surround them. This brings the bones in that joint into closer proximity, especially when the surrounding muscle, ligaments, and tendons are tight. Traction is a great solution for your tendons being tight, especially with athletes. Traction basically involves using some kind of bracing to apply force, like to your shoulders, hips, knees, and other joints. You pull apart or distract that joint just slightly and release any compressed forces causing limited mobility. For example, say you get a deep aching pain in your hips after a long run. Increase resistance with any workout. You can take a lacrosse ball to the under of your hips or do a bunch of side to side dynamic leg swings. But to restore mobility to the joint itself and get rid of your pain, you'll need to do hip traction with the band. Ben Greenfield uses a monster band from Rogue Fitness. Basically, it pulls apart your hip socket and it feels good. To perform hip traction, get on all fours with a long straight spine. One end of a giant elastic band around the top of your thigh and the other end onto an movable object like a bedpost, couch, or rack at the gym. Move far away from the object so that you feel tension in the band. Then rock your hips from side to side and back to back. Allowing your hip to move in the newly opened space created by the traction from the band. This movement under traction helps deliver small increase or movements in lubricating synovial fluid to the joint and also helps reduce cramps or spasms that have insinuated themselves into any overactive muscles surrounding the hip. Traction may also be tough to visualize, so you might want to check out the videos, rubber band, stretch variations at. In the mobility section of the website allthingsgym.com, also, getting the book, Coming a Supple Leopard, has detailed instructions on self-traction exercises. Ben Greenfield uses an inversion table for traction. You can also decompress joints like your lumbar spine using a pull-up bar. I highly suggest you do this to ease any lower back pain or hip pain. Underground training tactics, recovery tactics, were gone throughout in this book. Recovery in the book is really the ability to meet or exceed performance in an activity. So trauma can be good because hormesis happens, which basically means you'll have better defense against oxidative stress in your muscle. So your overall health from exposure to low doses of an agent that can be toxic or lethal at high doses. Hormesis, that's what it is. Don't optimize your hormones for recovery by doing the underground training tactics in the book. Low hormone levels means slower recovery. So, there's underground tactics for recovery, for health, and it would take a very long time to summarize the big points in the book, and I highly suggest you read through the book. I've just gone over 
some of the endurance stuff. The, the nutrition stuff is more important than the endurance stuff. Now, I'm going to suggest to you stuff to put in your kitchen. After you're done reading this book, these items, you ought to buy all of them. Because we live in a post-industrial age, and you need to know what you're putting in your body and your environment. This book is amazing. Now, you're probably going to blow a lot of money after this book. Here's the things you want to blow money on. The 24 things you ought to have in your kitchen if you want to live a prosperous life, always energized. Get the Omega Juicer. You'll save time and you'll have more bioavailability. Get the Omega Masticating Juicer. And the Omni Blender. Cast iron cookware. It's convenient for athletes. You can actually boost your iron intake. Most athletes are low on iron. By replacing your nonstick for aluminum pots and pans with cast iron, it allows you to avoid the toxic fumes produced by most other cookware. Excalibur Dehydrator. This is a great way to preserve fruits, vegetables, and animal proteins that have been practiced since ancient times. Soda Stream. It's carbonated water. It's great for staving off cravings or for drinking something more entertaining than plain water. And you want to get yourself a good kitchen knife as well as Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Chef. Get a nutcracker if you have thyroid testosterone problems. If you want to support yourself, get a nutcracker. But you want to put the nuts in water because they have sometimes mold on them and basically aflatoxins. So you want to soak them in water. Lectins. Okay, canning jars. This is the eighth thing. The ninth thing is Pyrex BPA free glass containers. BPA is hazardous chemical found in plastic products including hard plastic baby bottles, water bottles. Hard plastics, microwavable cookware, some plastic storage bags and containers and the linings of aluminum cans. If you want to avoid BPA you can use Pyrex cooking dishes which are more like glass and do not contain BPA. They have special flexible lids that are also BPA free. Cheesecloth. Cheesecloth is a usually woven cotton cloth that closely resembles gauze. From draining blended almonds to making almond milk, draining yogurt, and making whey, cheesecloth comes in handy for draining solids or sustaining liquids. Alternatively, if you're on a budget, you should use an old pair of nylons. Chest freezer. 11. If you get big bulk orders of meat, get a chest freezer. 12. Nourishing Traditions. The cookbook that challenges politically correct nutrition and the diet dictocrats by Sally Fallon. This book will learn how to soak, sprout, ferment, and do everything else you need to do to make just about every food you can imagine that is healthy for the human body. Rich Food, Poor Food, The Ultimate Grocery Purchasing System by Jason Calton and Mira Calton. If you want to get no GMOs and go into your grocery store and get what you need to be healthy, get this book. 14. Eating on the Wild Side, The Missing Link to Optimal Health by Joe Robinson. It teaches you about glyphosate and nutritional content and how our wild ancestors got vegetables. It also shows you how to use simple scientifically proven methods for storage and preparation that preserve and enhance the life benefits of plants. Basically, I'll just give you some overview. You put fresh garlic through a garlic press and then set it aside for 10 minutes before cooking it to increase its natural immune defense properties. Baking potatoes, refrigerating them overnight, and then reheating them before serving to lower their glycemic index and keep them from spiking blood sugar. Shredding lettuce the day before you eat it to double its antioxidant properties. Storing watermelon on the kitchen counter for up to a week to allow it to develop more lysopene. Eating broccoli the day you buy it to preserve its natural sugars and cancer-fighting compounds. It is a nutritional gold mine, this book. Websites. 15. Go to Local Harvest. When it comes to supporting the local economy and getting your food as fresh as possible, the best organic food is what's grown closest to you. You can use the Local Harvest website to find farmers, markets, family farms, and other sources of sustainably grown food in your area. Amazon Prime. Nothing beats supporting your local economy, but for items you simply can't find locally or need fast, you can get amazing stuff at Amazon Prime. You can go to Native Forest Organic, BPA-free coconut milk to 
natural nori sheets, all on Amazon Prime, wild planet sardines to nearly all personal care products, detox gear. 17, mountain rose herbs. These you really want to get. So you can buy butter, waxes, and carrier oils from mountain rose herbs to create your own personal care products as well as essential oils for your immune system. 18. Magnetic clay baths. They're not exactly traditional kitchen items, but for supplements, detoxing, healthcare products such as nascent iodine, transdermal magnesium lotion, magnesium oil, magnesium bath flakes, and even the clay-based detox edible herbs, which is especially interesting stuff based on a recent study that it helps with increased fat loss. But magnetic clay baths is definitely your go-to for detoxing. Upgraded self. 19. It's where you get toxic-free, mold-free, slightly fringe items such as MCT oil or vanilla powder, cocoa powder, mold-free coffee. Dave Asbury has worked on making amazing supplements. He's a biohacker. Nutiva. Nutiva, number 20. Any superfood, coconut-related Nutiva or nut-related, is there. And 21, get a slow cooker. It's a must-need, time-saving appliance.